Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in beautiful New Hampshire. Today, we're going for a hike. We're gonna do a little exploring in this massive piece of land that's been on my mind for a while. It's been a few years since I've been out here. It's just big. There's walls that go everywhere, and there's lots of sections I've never been to. So, we're gonna enjoy the beautiful autumn weather. It's, uh, it's only like 52 degrees. Sun is shining. Leaves are falling, and I'm curious, so let's head out to the unknown and see what we can find. So I parked on the old dead road. There's this trail cart path that I've never followed. I've always gone other places. So I'm going to follow it for a bit, and I know that at some point, relatively soon, we need to go up. Up in that area because, uh, well, you can see stacked rocks right here. There's walls and stuff up there. And believe it or not, there's supposed to be a uh, mid-1700s home site up there. It's been gone for 200 years. That this hill is actually named after the guy who lived there. I've never been able to find it. Granted, they've logged it two or three times. It's pretty messy, but again, it's just unknown area that I want to get into. It's huge, absolutely huge. But today's a good day for it, so let's do this. So there's no doubt walking on this. This is a full-on old school cart path. It's not beat like a logging road or even a trail. And as I go along, I'm seeing a nice proper break in that wall up there. Huh. It's amazing how many times I've been up in this area. I've never come, you know, 10 minutes in to this section. But that's why it takes years of doing this to cover so much ground. And I've been up in there. It's not good not to say that the proper break uh, wasn't, you know, an opening to a pasture or something. But still interesting, the fact that it's on this side. And most, mostly what I say not good, it's, see how thick that is up in there? They logged this, I don't know, 10 years ago. It's just terrible, terrible walking in there. So I'm going to keep following the cart path that is kind of going the direction of this wall. See where that ends up. Well, our cart path terminated in somebody's backyard. That's not where I am currently. So, I headed back into the public space area here and started my up. And, uh, yeah, pretty unremarkable trees and lumpy and stuff but that horizon up there that's roughly the area we want to go to you know to get into that section of unknown but you can clearly see the residuals of logging in here Have wall. So 
we have got some up to go for sure it's uh clearly the land has not been improved upon on this side of the wall but i jumped over this side because the other side's logged and this is a lot easier to navigate in all right i'll see you when i get up there well i just went up all the way over that and of course on the other side down i've definitely never been out here i've been to the top over there in a different spot same top but now i get to see what's on this side of the hill Well, that rain did us no good the other day. Nice. Well, I just popped out onto a trail that I never knew existed. I guess you would have to have gone through, uh, well, over there where it's logged, which is hundreds of acres. You would have had to have found the disconnected end of it over here. So... Definitely gonna follow this for a bit, it's old. Yeah, interesting. And what's always intrigued me about this area is depending upon which history book you read, there is lost history and confusion as to who lived where and when. I'm on this section of the map where town lines, county lines, state lines, province lines, everything changed between, call it the late 1600s to early 1700s. So depending upon which book you read, you get different information, different results. And I have found sites out here that were older than the history uh, of this particular town stated. You know, people were here in 1750s, that's it. But you go back to another book where people were here earlier, put the clues together and you find sites. Just figure this, and this is, this is a very common thing that you read with history books. This town here, 1750s people were settling so you walk over the town line and now people were here in the 1650s a hundred year difference and you can't tell me there wasn't you know intermingling and exploring and traveling so it's a very cool very cool area old very old that's pretty interesting so I'm coming up to a wall, and that means, and that means that the square that I just walked across is a square that was not the last uh, farm or home site. Interesting. I didn't think it was walled this far out because the more we head in that direction, uh, we run into a mountain range. So where I said the guy lived on the hill is way back there. And this is what's gotten me curious. How far out were they stacking rocks out here? Well, pretty far. Nice walls out here. See, and these could be as old as, you know, late 1600s, which is a pretty wild thought. Beautiful. Well, that's interesting. So that is, you know, you hear the term proper break that we use. We've pretty much created that term. Proper break means, you know, you got solid ends. There's no stones blown out on either side from logging. And essentially, these things are almost like 
you know, like a traffic signal that way or this way. And you guys have seen me do it in the past. Exit one of these proper brakes in either direction and it'll take you somewhere interesting. That's the direction we're heading. It don't look very interesting, but... Huh. Interesting all the way out here. And that's why we're out here. So that proper brake essentially took me across to this beautiful wall. And on the other side, pinball action. Woof. And that's why I have a problem, hard time finding a lot of these lost sites. If it's in there, yeah, right. So, Now's where I make the choice. I walk the wall on that side, looping back in the direction we were going in. Or do I try to cut through this? I think I'm gonna head down a bit of the ways and see if it clears up at all. I've made my way through the mess to a old logging road trail again. It's pretty bad out here. It's just a it's just a sea of trees. And right now with so many leaves still on the trees, you can't really see out there. Never mind walk through it. And crossing that wall, I'm back inside a square but it's just a uh, it's just an ocean out here an ocean of vegetation and I really have no idea where I am which is fun always fun I can actually poke my head in here All looks the same. Not cultivated for growing things, just livestock. Huh? Well, you know. <clears throat> I'm out obviously today because I want to explore. I love hiking, obviously. But I've been coming out here for almost two decades. And I'm hoping that one of these days I will come over to one of these little lifts and find this guy's home site. It's got to be out here somewhere or it's just completely destroyed. Either way, it keeps me coming out here, which is cool. That actually, I don't know if you can see the what's left of those uh, trees, they are cut. This stuff was all pushed up here. Signs of people are out here. And I was gonna continue going on that way, but I can tell it, it's gotta be wetland by what's growing out there. So I'm gonna have to head back out of this. I just came into the woods here and go around. All right, refreshment time and then back to it. All right, so it's it's 20 minutes later. I've made my way back around from out there to an area that I've been to. I'm, I'm basically on the top side of my loop to heading back. So I was out here a few years ago, as I said. This is what's left of a trail. And this is what the other end of it looks like. I cannot believe that. How quickly things disappear when not in use. Wow! Essentially, you see that big pine? 
that's where I'm heading. And it's uh, completely gone. Amazing. Well, I made it out to the old road and on my way out. I appreciate you guys joining me. It's uh, one of those things that I, I have to keep going back to areas, you know, sometimes year after year, sometimes a break in between, just to re-explore it because things change quickly. I mean, I cannot believe that that trail, which realistically was 150 feet uh, from here, from this side you can't even see it anymore. Gone. But maybe one day we'll find that site up there. The uh, enjoyable thing of today is, you know, I love hiking. Trail hiking is what it is. It's like being on a road. You just follow it and it brings you somewhere. There's nothing like being out in the bush and just trailblazing. That's how you really see the landscape. So get out, do some exploring, and I'll see you all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.